Hey everybody, so this video is going to be kind of like a hodgepodge of videos from this one and then one that Jeremy and I started over the weekend uh, with the install of his speakers up in the anchor well because the camera died. So I want to caveat some things up front uh, and then I'm going to cut some stuff and we'll put it in the middle so everything kind of makes sense and we can actually finish, uh, finish up the install uh, as far as the video is concerned. But one thing I didn't do on my last video was with the swim deck speakers was uh, a beer. So uh, I didn't have any, so I got some now. And so I'm just gonna do two cans for this period, for this video. Here they are. I don't know if you can see them. I'll try to. This one is Sergeant Joseph D. Johnson from Flint, Michigan. Born 7 May. 1986 died 16 June 2010 he was in the army he was a combat engineer and he died in enduring freedom that's what OEF is operation enduring freedom um, just as a little tidbit some of these beers you can go to the dog tag brewing website and you can get more information on each individual that's displayed on these cans this one sergeant Devin a Snyder from I'm not even gonna try to say that somewhere in New York she was born 7 August 1990. She died 4 June 2011. She was a military police and she also died in Operation Enduring Freedom. Okay, we got that out of the way. So let me set up this video real quick. Over the weekend, we put in, Jeremy and I put in the swim deck speakers on my boat. And as we were finishing up, Jeremy, um, was playing around with the template that comes with the speakers and he was going around different places on the boat on my boat to see where he could put some on his and that's how he ended up that day um, going to buy some JL 77s I mean it was I was cleaning up the boat and he was like I think I'm gonna go get some speakers so that's what he did so I finished cleaning up my boat put it all back together put the cover on and got all my tools back together and went over to Jeremy's house and that's how this install started same day uh, and so here we go Motherfucker. <laughs> There's no getting that. Nope. Wonder if we can get it down there. Oop, there it is. There it is. Everybody's <laughs> working for the weekend. Everybody. Where's it catching on that side? Yeah, I think it's just a couple of these rough spots I hit.
Okay, so if y'all try this, you'll see this little lip inside the anchor bay. If you use 7.7s seven anyway, you'll have to trim this. The magnet kind of bumps up against this, so you just have to kind of notch it out. It doesn't look pretty by any means, but just like a slight notch out right there so the magnet can fit, fit through. All right, so now we got that out of the way. You watch some of the cutting. What some people may not know, and I don't think we really knew either, is uh, the anchor bay. Let me kind of get into this. The anchor bay is essentially a bucket that's sitting in there, I'm guessing, before they put the dang boat uh, together. So it's a separate piece of fiberglass uh, bucket that's in there. So when you cut these, you'll, you'll see, I know you've seen it in um, when we were cutting it, that there was two pieces that we had to cut. So we cut the fiberglass on the front side, and then we had to cut through the separate fiberglass bucket of the anchor well. Now a lot of you guys are probably thinking, what the hell are you going to do with your anchor well now? Well, to be honest, we don't use the anchor well at all. Uh, we use the Mantis anchors, and they just don't fit. So that's empty space for us. I've, I've never even put one thing in my anchor bay ever. Uh, so we don't use it. It was not that big a deal. But in all honesty, if you use these 7.7s, seven you probably could get away with still using your stock anchor in this anchor well with these speakers you just kind of got to be careful um, with the wires and, sh and shit like that so here's what I want to do this is like I said here's the speakers that's where we put them at and you can see now we're I don't think we're done tying these up we just wanted to hit and get done and start drinking uh, we'll continue drinking that's I guess I should say so again in the other video it's not very pretty holes here and you can make them better and we probably could too but, you know, it's no big deal because nobody's going to see it except for us. So all we did was we trimmed those two, trimmed these out to keep it off the magnet. And <clears throat> as far as running it, we just ran the wires above the... Let me see if I can get the camera in there. It's going to be upside down, but you'll be able to see what I'm talking about, hopefully. We ran them up there, and all they do is they come back around here. And then underneath here, and just right, right straight to the amp. So this install, I think this one also took us about an hour, maybe maybe an hour and a half, because um, I had to keep running over to my house to get like zip ties or get a new bit or so back and forth. Um, real simple ad here. I mean, this one was really simple. The fiberglass was pretty thick though. I think it was a lot thicker than we what we imagined. So in my previous video I was saying two bits per hole. You might want to have for this one you might want to have a couple extra because you can see in the in a video Jeremy broke one you know within the first couple minutes of uh, cutting that hole out. So but this again this install was last minute and it, it turned out I'm gonna tell you it turned out really well. They look like they're just supposed to be there. And when we went out on the beach the next day, and I posted a video out there of him, of his boat sitting out there in the water, the projection uh, that you you could really hear that music being projected through the seats all the way straight back. We were quite a ways back, and we were both really surprised um, at how well it sounded. So I hope this video helps somebody uh, who wants to do the same thing. There's a very good chance that I may do this with mine. I'm not sure. I'm still going back and forth between getting rid of my 7.7 towers and replacing them with 8.8s. But this may be a viable option in in, uh, in my future too. And So, uh, yeah, I hope it helps somebody. And good luck to you if you do it. Let us know. 